Hey, it's Jen. I wanted to give you an animated version of my blog today that I just released. Uh, how to scare your friends and prove a point because I had a blast doing this. Uh, Rachel Frank and I were discussing going incognito in the hotel room and I told her, I said, if you take away everything that's my physical appearance, I guarantee you nobody will recognize me. And um, it's exactly what I did. I had her style me up, put on some makeup, and uh, my my first inclination was to scare Brooke Shaden because she had done such a great job in one of her classes in the January intensive. And I thought, of all the people in the world, she would get it. So I wanted to try to find her and a few other key people that I had met at After Dark that I thought would get the joke or get the prank. So I did just that. I took off all my, my took my glasses off. I couldn't see. I walked down the stairs and I heard her voice and I saw a whole bunch of people sitting on the floor and sure enough, it was her class. And I remember sitting in the back and just kind of like inside giggling because I was like, oh, what is she going to do? Is she going to freak out? Is she going to really enjoy this? Because she, she kind of likes that kind of stuff sometimes. And, and so I was like, I don't know how she's going to react. And then I just kind of like asked a question to somebody and they recognized me by my voice. And I was like, well, I shouldn't speak very much then. So, uh, what I ended up doing was just kind of sitting there and waiting for the right timing because I didn't want to be disruptive and, you know, and then just like, I don't want everybody to lose out on their experience in Brooke's class. So, so I waited until she asked everybody to come up and look at the picture on the tripod. And that is when I just kind of stared at her like, I'm not slow. And she gave me that look of... <laughs> It was probably the funnest thing I've ever done to start that she was the first one and then so after I stopped laughing long enough to go see a couple of other friends they were laughing too and so I made my way back into one of the main rooms to try and find some more people to scare and uh, so that's how all this started was just an idea to prove a point that I could walk around this entire building with hundreds of people and nobody would know who I was. And uh, for the most part, I fooled a lot of people. But there was a couple people that saw right through me. And of course, uh, thanks to everybody who uh, played along or uh, were surprised. Because I love genuine surprises. Because that it just really uh, made, made me think that I did my job well. And so just a shout out to all those folks that were truly surprised. And um, I know I, I said in, in the blog as well that I did scare Brian DeMint pretty well. I didn't really scare him so much as shocked him because he was just like, you look normal, there's hope for you. And I was just laughing because of his reaction. <laughs> and then uh, for when I scared Presley, uh, it was more of an obnoxious, just I was literally like two feet away from her, just like, I was just gonna see how long it would take for her to react or say something because I was just obnoxiously tailing her. And uh, she went into the room and then went out of the room and I just couldn't keep character because I was like, I'd be a bad improv comedian because I would just laugh the whole time. And so finally I just burst out laughing <laughs> and I was like, hey. <laughs> and sure enough, she's like, well, good job. And so I just want to thank everybody at After Dark. It's because of you that I was inspired and it was because I pushed myself as a person and a personality. It's just, it's not like me to do over the top um, extroverted things when I'm mostly introverted and just want to disappear. So thank you for putting up with me. Um, I hope you had a blast reading the blog. It's more fun to hear it live, but I wish I had video, but have a great day today and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.